Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter project is being ran. And today, I am super excited to be checking out the eighth most popular project in all games that is Stage Top, the 3D printed gaming table. And obviously, when you hear a name like that, your ears just kind of go, wait, what? 3D printing gaming table what are we getting into i am a big fan of 3d printing despite the fact i don't own one it's just too expensive for me but but i love the basic idea of it if i follow it i like to follow the kickstarters so give your games the stage they deserve with this 3d printable modular gaming platform because i've seen other companies do stuff like this like the uh hey you're gonna put this onto your table and it's gonna elevate things over so you can you know you can have room underneath it to store cards or knickknacks or whatever um so I'm excited to see how they implement this because some of those haven't turned out so well. It's already raised 34,000 bucks. Uh, I see the main image and I see a table, but I'm not quite seeing exactly what I'm getting yet. So I, I almost feel like maybe we zoom in or is it the table itself? Is this whole table 3D printed? I feel like I could know a little bit more just looking at the picture aside from saying, oh, there's cookies and fruit. Um, what am I, so what part of it is the 3D print? Is this, oh, it's that thing, the whole thing? What? All right, as always, when you go in the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. Ooh, now I see. It is underneath it. From the angle, the the, the zoomed out angle that you see it at that, uh, it just looked like it was an extra little, it didn't look like that. So that's cool, okay. I like the fact they got a new hot game up there uh, showcasing roughly how long, uh, how large it is. Because I will say, if you have played Flamecraft, you know that this mat is long. Like, I was going to do a gameplay video of Flamecraft. I set it up, and I was like, oh, shoot, I can't do it. I'd have to zoom out so far, you couldn't see the text on anything. So I do like that the fact that they're showcasing that. And hopefully they showcase some more games as well. So we got the nice little slot. That, that's that's pretty. That's nice. Wait, I'm just buying files. Okay. Okay. Cool. And this is a thing you see all the time. I see it all the time on Kickstarter. I don't typically cover just the file ones just because I don't, I don't 3D print that hardcore. Uh, but if that's all this is, then and they raise forty three grand or whatever it is, that's fantastic. Or I wonder if they're going to also assemble them and send them out as well. I wonder if there's going to be different pledge levels. Either way, I'm excited to see how they're doing us. I feel like so far this video has been really well made. They're showing me how it's set up. Thank you. Watching this build video, and I now have some reservations now, but still backing. Okay, so see some potential issues with the putting together video, but even me, myself, like this is one thing I complain about a lot with a lot of Kickstarters, not so much in the board game sector, but in other sectors, because I cover a lot of other types of Kickstarters, at least I used to before I had my third kit. Uh, I'll get back to that one day. But a lot of times they'll have like this cool thing and they'll be like, well, how does it assemble? I need to see this thing put together. A lot of times with gaming tables and stuff like that, they'll have these videos, uh, sometimes they won't, so I really appreciate this in the main video. That's nice. In that's real nice. Okay, card holders, beautiful. Hit me with the tote, baby! I got all these. I got literally these, these are littered all around my house. Love them. Tell me that's not worth a spot on your shelf. You know, I totally think that is. Especially for, like, a game like Twilight Imperium or something like that. If you could have enough big setup and sit down for that. Because that's the thing. When You know, I got a huge table. My table can accommodate 10. But when we get a 6, 
Player Game of Twilight Imperium, which we've done a couple times going. You know, we got coffee tables sitting off to the side. We got people putting stuff on their lap. We got all sorts of stuff going on here. Uh, I love this basic idea. Stand on it. Okay, I thought she was going to stand on it. Because it's like strong modular design. I'm like, oh, okay. What's she going to do? And it's just, oh, she sets it down. Which doesn't really tell me... Like that, I want to see some, I want to see some pressure applied to it, in particular center and the sides, because I've seen some and I've heard of some. Like they have this, these ones with like some really cheap, flimsy wood, where people would just, just the slightest lean on it, it's just boom, everything goes sideways. This one I don't think is probably going to be as bad because there's a lot more legs. And it looks like there's a lot more weight holding it down, but I think that'd be a good demonstration. So hopefully they have that. There we go. And we see another very popular game right there. Look at that. Mm. What? Shut up. Completely unnecessarily awesome for 300. What? Boom! Score tracker? The hits just keep on coming. If I had a 3D printer, like, my wallet would be out right now. Oh, my! Because it's not specifically for any game. It's for every single game in your collection. And they're spotlighting how we can acquiesce every game in your collection. Oh, you need to hit your cards up like this. You need the point counter. You need a dice chart. Like, oh, beautiful. And that's really nice, too. Because this definitely turns a coffee table into... A, a regular table. That's something I would not have thought about at all. And once again, I feel like a good Kickstarter video will do that. I see this a lot of the time with tech. With tech videos, they have a very uh, a format that a lot of them do, where they will showcase all the different types of people who are potentially going to use a product and exactly how they'll use that product. And if you're that person, you say, oh, cool, so I can use that. And if you're not, you're like, oh, I could do that. And that's kind of what it is right here. I'm like, wow, I, like, I can turn a coffee table into a regular table. Uh, so I like it. Or like a big war game or up to a just stand up game. Mm. What are those? Oh, those are the dice things. Wow. Too good to be true it is almost running through my brain. Like, I want to believe. Um, uh, X Files me. I want to believe. This looks awesome. Do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? With this one, I mean, you, I feel like for what it is, and we need to see the pledge levels, but. They're 3D files, and I see them. Uh, hopefully there's some more videos down here. Uh, so Gutshot Games, LLC. It is an independent game studio in Redmond, Washington. <sighs> Jalop is a collaborator. Oh, collaborator. oh, no, no, no. I hope they did not let them do their story. I hope that's... Because uh, I'm just saying, typically Jalop... They scare me a little bit. Headhunters! Holy guacamole! I know Gutshot Games. They sponsored me many, many years ago for, I believe, my first ever... Kickstarter um, a long time ago. Cool. Glad to see them back with this and successfully funded no less with 34000 So big ups. Also, pretty sure they support me on the Patreon, which once again, thank yous as well. Uh, the 3D printing gaming table. Stage Top is a 3D printable module gaming platform which prints support free on medium sized 3D printers. 200 telemeters build plate. So right now we're getting into the sausage a little bit on how what your 3D printer is going to work. Cool. This campaign is for digital files only patent pending. Thank you! Thank you so much! That was exactly what I wanted to know. What was the question that I added from the beginning? What was the question I just said a second ago? And they immediately drop down and answer it. Beautiful. If I don't have a 3D printer, you're not going to waste any more of my time. And if I do, I will continue. I appreciate you valuing my time with that one little sentence there that so many companies would not have done. Kudos! That's a half point grade bump up from my mind. All right, we got this... That cool the stuff that I'm never gonna have. So this is Jalop. This is what they do. They give you the they just take your video and then they regurgitate out the images, but they do add some extra stuff to it. 
Uh, put away. Yep. It's going to be a whole bunch of pictures and GIFs from, I like to say GIFs. You know what? I forget society. Stage top light. So these are all the different ones you could do. Uh, I'd like to know, like, how much this prints or, like, how long it takes to print or something. Like, how much, um, something. A, a little bit more, I think, of, like, but well, this is cool. You're showing me all the different ways I can make it, which I do appreciate. And it seems like it's the kind of thing, oh, here it is. Here it is, 24 by 32 rectangle. So these are 8 by 8 inch modular frames. I would convert that to millimeters. So this is one of the few times where I'm like, hey, inches to millimeters, people. Don't be a stupid American. And remember that we're the ones using the inches. Uh, but that'd make that easier for everybody else, especially for something like this, which is going to appeal to everyone in the world. In theory, I would honestly, I would have, I might, this would have been one of the few Kickstarters, because I'm not, where, well, I wouldn't say that. I would have put all the flags. I would have put how this is international shipping friendly everywhere in the world just to get people's attention because if they think it's a gaming table or they think it's a physical thing that they're going to get, which I did, once again, I thought maybe it was files, but I also thought that, uh, I think they're less inclined to click on it potentially. So I think by mentioning, I, I feel like there's some other stuff that we could mention there. Uh, so 40 by 40 squares, 32 by 38 rectangles. So this is the inches. So that's uh, cool. Time and filament at your disposal. So you just keep making more and more of these. If a part breaks, you can keep printing it off and replacing it. Wow. This is the future. I want to believe this looks so awesome. This is cool. Uh, so personal, over 50 STF files included in your pledge. So personal, 48 bucks. That seems incredibly reasonable. Like that's, and it's so, and I got to say, this is clean and clear. The how much is it? They didn't beat around the bush. They got to it relatively soon. 48 bucks just for you 96 if you're planning on doing some crazy shenanigans at conventions or whatnot with it rail clip quarter rail oh my gosh i want stage top light stage top elite what is this oh these are these the so no we're locked in at 48 bucks this is all just extra stuff they can print off correct <gasps> assembly instructions yes yes i could do without the music but but still good I did catch it was a Jalop campaign, and I'm, I'm, I'm still in. Like, I'm loving what I'm seeing here. The play tile holder. Like, everything here. Like, it's just... I immediately want to go through my games and be like, Oh, I would use this for this game, and this for this game, and this for this game. And you can just put it together before you get... Ah, oh, it's so cool. And then, you know, if you just have, like, a permanent gaming table, this is the kind of thing where you could just leave it on top of the table when you're not potentially gaming. You know, and, and you would just essentially have two tables where you could put crap on, if you're like me. 10K, st stage tops. Oh, so we're unlocking different things? Oh! Oh, so Sean said, this is the video that kind of put me off. I don't like all the music. It's like, I can honestly just do without that. I wish someone was just talking me through this. Like, all right, so now I'm going to connect this over here. You just apply a little bit of gentle pressure. You got to take the caps, which you have. You should probably have a whole bunch of extra 3D prints because you can extra 3D print them. You screw it in, and now maybe I'd wig it a little bit and say, now you got yourself your surface here. We're now going to grab the tiles and you can place them in however you want. Maybe you have one where it's going to hold the dice. Maybe you have one where it's going to hold the components. Or maybe we can even put one of those in here where it's going to do the cool little dice dropping thing. Like, that would be so much better than... Call me crazy. Oh, but here we go. And that's and I will say that's a nitpick still. I'm still seeing a pretty much in real time video of someone doing this, which is exactly what I always want and exactly what I always desire. So this is still good for me that it's there and I see it. And I say, okay, I could do this. I could do this. That does not look that difficult. All right, what do we got? So this is the one I'm looking for. for 15 seconds. What's gonna happen? I like that. Uh, I'd like to see some on the corners. I'd like to see some on the side, potentially, as well. think that'd be good. Uh, because, hey, maybe it does flip it over. Maybe you flip it over on the side and it does still flip over the side. And I say, okay, I, I should probably have assumed that. Gloomhaven weighs a freaking ton. But at the bottom line, you know, I'd just like to know that. And then maybe you take a different game and you do it. Or maybe you make it like a joke. And then you put, like, the one side, you know, just on the side. Like, oh, here, here's Ku. Ku doesn't do it. And then Ticket to Ride doesn't do it. But then you bust out the big dog and it does. Or something like that. You know, give me a realistic assessment of that going on. I think that'd be nice. 
Uh, once again, nitpick. Stretch goals, loving it. Stage top stronghold, so it's like your own little personal area where you can put your stuff. Ooh, it looks so cool and unnecessary. I want it. Stronghold component tile. Come on! Who doesn't want this? It's got a little executioner's thing right there. This is so cool. It looks like it takes 30 to 45 minutes to put it together. They're doing jumps and playing it really fast. Mmm. I might have to see if my friends with a 3D printer want to split this with me. Uh, so, yeah, I can see that being a turnoff if you have to assemble and disassemble. But I feel like, at least for me, most of the time, I would probably just have it for my table. Like, the size that I want it on my table. No, I know what I'd do. I know exactly how I'd use this. I would 3D print one for when I do how to play videos, for when I'm doing the videos myself. So I think you'd figure out some table structure sizes that you would want, and you would probably just keep those assembled somewhere. But if you don't have the space to do that, I'm lucky enough to be in a house, I can see that being an issue. So I appreciate the heads up gutcha hi sean assembly takes about 30 seconds to one minute per frame nice and once again that's what and, and hey what's up gutshot i think that would have been nice there to do that instead of the video that that music feels like a jalop thing to me uh I, i'm just gutshot i don't know uh, can you say is that was that video was that something done by jalop did they do a lot of the videos how much how hands-on are they with that so the size table that was shown in that video is 12 frames worst case plan on 12 minutes wow that's nice that's real nice. Legs stackable, standard, and elite. Don't know what that means, but I want it. I like the word elite. Play tile, mixed card tray tile. Oh, you got your cards here. You got your stuff here. Your knickknacks. Loving this. Play stone. And these are great stretch goals. These are what I like to call micro stretch goals. They're bite sized one. You got to come back, and you'd be excited to check these out, wouldn't you? Especially when it's just 46 bucks up front. And honestly, here's the bottom line. I feel like we're missing a fantastic opportunity for a $46 on that main image. Are you kidding me? When I see a gaming table and I see $46, I say, whoa, that, that at the bare minimum wants me to check out what I'm getting. And I think if you get people that far to the door, I think it's, I feel like that's a great price point. Anybody with a 3D printer, which I imagine is a lot of overcross with people spending three to $400 on Kickstarter projects. I mean, call me crazy here. Uh, so play tile, one by one inch squares. Oh, wow. So this is if you really want to get some intricate style things. So you could potentially create, ooh, that's hot. Love that. Oh, mm, so many ideas popped in my brain. Table, stage, top, tavern. I love the future. Tavern, come look, it's a tavern. Uh, that's a tavern dice chucker. Uh, tavern. So here's the other thing too. I feel like I would love to know a little bit like tavern component. Why don't it say tavern dice chucker? Uh, just to just to clarify maybe a little bit. Uh, no, the video was all me. Sorry for the music. Easier than trying to come up with dialogue. I like the idea of adding the price to that main image. Thank you. Well, I'm glad that you took a bit that, that something out of here stuck with you. Because once again, I just say the stuff that I think would look good based on looking at other people's Kickstarter projects because I check them out all the time. This campaign includes digital awards in the form of 3D printable files and requires a 3D printer with the... We talked about that. Cool. Don't have a 3D printer? Here are the couple printers we use and recommend. Okay. I, I, I like this. I like this an awful lot. You looking for something budget? You're really... Because once again, 348 So now... I'm in my head saying, well, $348 instead of getting, you know, a $800,000 table. And then I say to myself, well, you know, if I was going to spend $800,000, maybe I just get the $800 one and then I'm still spending it. And then you've talked yourself into it. I think this, and all the while you've talked yourself into buying this and this. But the bottom line is, this is the guarantee. This is the, the maybe kind of, I love some of the stuff on this Kickstarter. Try before you back. Click for a free Dice Tower STL. Great. Try before you buy. And I really like this try before you buy because if you have a 3D printer, you're going to, like, this is still something you'd like to have. Just a little cool little dice tray. Oh, neat. Assuming you haven't printed one out already. Top 10 stage top printing tips. In your slicer, change this. And we're, we're giving you tips on how to do it. Cool stuff. I'd love to see a video on that too. I think that'd be great. So you're about to create your table. So you're about to, and I think that's a potential stretch goal thing. I've seen other people do this before, especially in tech sector and stuff, where they'll be like, hey, we're going to give you a how to play video, or we're going to do a how to make this video, where we walk you through what to do. And I think that'd be a great thing to potentially add or consider as a stretch goal. Uh, even though I do currently love your stretch goal format of just giving me extra stuff that I want. And look at this. This is it. The stage top light draft quality time per. This is great. 
It's a long time, but once again, if you're a 3D printing enthusiast, I know you already know this. Because I have done some, like, at my local library. Uh, but, but like, oh, that's cool. Lead designer, the knack makes your engineering designs a dream a reality. An independent game studio, kudos. I feel like you jumped on top of this early. No shipping at all, either. Beautiful. Uh, by the way, got shot. I backed this the moment I saw this. I'm excited for this. We'll be using this for my living room coffee table. By the way, I love the print times and filament usage there. Yeah. Likewise, just getting down to business. All right, so 96, so 48 bucks, we got 541 people, then we got 96 bucks. You should, this deal is a sell stage top. This pledge only allows the backer to sell prints. No selling of digital files is permitted. Whoa! That's so good. I almost feel like we should lean into it more. Like, that was not what I thought that was. I thought it was like, oh, if you're going to have a game convention, you're going to print out and whole, have a whole bunch of these to help you with this, that, or something other. That's what I was thinking. You're talking about, hey, you're trying to make money with this 3D printer? Make our stuff and go sell it. You just put that into my brain that, hey, you're cool with that. 96 bucks. Like, I... That's cool. The time shows are default. There are ways to speed those up. We wanted to provide the worst case scenarios. Great. Uh, so cool. Great. FAQ. Do I have questions? No. I feel like it was really well covered. <laughs> uh, fun in an hour. On to stretch goals. The stage top 3D printing game table is off to a great start. It's all because you're supported as an avid backer. I've always scoffed at campaigns that touted quick funding times, assuming the funding goal was set artificially low. Yup. I can assume that you that this wasn't the case here. I had no idea how many others would want a 3D printed gaming platform when this journey began almost two years ago. Introducing that looks so damn cool. What else has been unlocked? Uh, by the way, if you want a review of this gut shot, like, like how, how it's a boy. <laughs> uh, there are plenty of surprises left to come to new accessories. And yes, even another entire new table? No, I don't think that's bold print down here. I think that is mentioned in the marquee. On to stretch goals. New table. All caps. Like, I think that is a needle mover. And, and I think one thing you definitely consider doing here. Uh, please help us. So, no, I'm, 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 just, I'm just ahead of myself. I'm excited to see. There are plenty of surprises left to come. From the new accessories to play tile designs and yes even another new and table while you haven't already helped so much there are two things you can do to help make this cam even better please help us pass the word share consider joining the facebook group where we usually be invited to join the community and share printing ticks thanks again for all your support maybe a sci-fi theme might be up for consideration and so now this was exactly what i was going to say um i feel like next stretch goal easy home run you got everybody here everybody's into this now people are coming back and probably checking this because they're like "Ooh, we're getting new cool stuff i would totally consider what stretch goals would you like to see in the future obviously the logistics of making it onto this campaign might be hard but maybe you know that could be something that we give you potentially in the future or it's going to unlock but the bottom line is it gives you free ideas and it also just churns tons of comments potentially uh from these people who are like oh i would love this and then and then you could also oh you could even also in bold say hey and if you love someone else's idea please show us by just plus wanting it or something like that and then all of a sudden you got big bang big, boom, boom, people people commenting off of other people's things and we're building buzz around more of this really cool kickstarter project um Looks like we surpassed the stackable legs and on our way to the next one. Might have to start thinking the next stretch goals to add. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, and these are people even like like insinuating that that's <laughs> maybe cups, etc. for the outside. Not so much. So literally all the... So this is... I, I want to I wanna take a step back. And this is why I always look at the updates. I don't think this is necessarily a bad update. It has really interesting information. It has exciting stuff. But I feel like it would have much more engagement if it was done like if, if we led off a little bit more with like the hey we're gonna unlock a whole freaking new table like what's the new table what size like, what, what's going on is it a circle like what i, I, I have that ideas this may be a concept for a future kickstarter that adds on to features for this one but i would love to have a table with a, yeah literally everyone here is just saying hey maybe maybe we talk about some stuff that i personally want for my table these are free ideas you know and it, like 
Oh, sky's the limit on this. I love this. How would it be possible? Love uh, this is people asking for stuff. <laughs> uh, reducing the frame size requires months of additional work and redesign of all supported parts. Okay. So, and that might be why they're a little like, oh, I don't know about that one. Uh, but then, but then still, you can even like say, hey, we love this idea as well. But logistically speaking, here's why it would work. And while that does suck that you're saying no it wouldn't work the bottom line is you're telling me why it wouldn't work and that makes me feel more comfortable on the can you do it because you're saying no while that would be yeah a really cool idea it just wouldn't work and you're going to get an inferior product and we don't want you wasting your time printing that that's what i hear as a kickstarter backer I love the level of transparency here. It would be great if you could provide tile templates usable in a software like Fusion. The files are shared as no derivatives. If you remix, transforms, and build upon the material, you may not distribute the monitor. However, I am resourcing, providing a blank. So this is all uh, 3D printing nerd talk, which unfortunately, I'm not in that, uh, that, that bracket quite yet. So, final thoughts on this one. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's check out the community on this one. Uh, Canada, 58. United Kingdom, Germany. So these are low. I feel like these are low. I think... I think because this is also the other thing. These, United States is beating everybody else, but the top cities, London, Toronto, Brisbane, Calgary, Melbourne, like different countries, which is why I feel like this one, something on that marquee should really, like $46 worldwide. You know, get, because if I'm a 3D printing enthusiast and I f see $46 worldwide, I pretty much have an idea in my brain of what I'm getting at that point. I think I'd be more likely to click it. Uh, because, yeah, I, I, I just feel like that's... Uh, so final grade for this one. Any <laughs> chance for a couple? Do I want it? Yes. Yes, I do. If you're a 3D printing enthusiast, I think you're like 46 bucks. Hell yeah, I'll give this a whirl. Can you do it? Yes, I feel like there are videos showcasing the assembly that weren't all super flashy and pantsy-dancy. Um... I felt like they did a great job convincing me on that. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? 46 bucks for a gaming table accessory that could do like a million different things. Now, granted, yes, you're going to be paying a bunch extra because you have to get the filament and the this and that and the other thing. I think filament's one of an impressive 3D printing word I just used successfully. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's still drastically less than you're going to pay for a gaming table. And this is going to have way more versatility. Like, look at that. You pull out the stack, you start putting it together. Like, mm, it just looks so good. So I'm cruising towards an A here. I feel like the main image definitely... That I feel like the main image... Not inspired by that at all. Let's go back to that main image. Because I didn't even realize what was going on at first. It's just so far zoomed out. Um, I definitely think we could mention a little bit more crucial information there. But honestly, I'm still at an A- minus on this one. I think this is a really awesome campaign. I wish I had a 3D printer after going for this one. But let me know your grade in the comments below and as always if you enjoy the content please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as i'm trying to reach 17,000 subscribers to make it my biggest year on youtube ever also if you're interested in having your kickstarter whatever it may be critiqued please be sure to check out that fiverr link below but as always thanks for your time youtube bye bye